This is LA Tech's freezing point osmometer. With this, you will get your instrument, you will get your micro pipetter, you will get your ampule opener, you will get your three standards, the 300, 850, and your zero. You will get your measurement vessels along with your pipette tips. You will get extra fuses, you will get an adjustment tool, a user manual, power cord, and extra cables. Here's the back of the freezing point osmometer. We have the COM1 port, COM2, USB, your power switch, and your power source. To initially set it up, you will plug in your instrument here. You will flip the power on. And then you will get this screen. This will be the home screen. Here you will have language, measure, settings will be the, four, the three that come up here. We'll go into language first. You will have five options to choose from. We're going to stay in English for this one. And then you'll go over to your settings. You can go into info. This will give you everything about the latest version of the software and um, every update you've had. This will be the latest version so you can see if your machine is up to date. You can adjust your screensaver. You can have it go 5 minutes, 30, 1, 10, or 1 hour. Or just completely turn it off. You can go to ID management. This will allow you to do them automatically and adjust it when you add a barcode scanner as well. You can go into your display here and you can adjust contrast either way. You can go into lab options. You can have a lab pin. This will allow you to adjust time and date. You can do your log ports. This will allow you to choose which one it's coming out of. You can go into your change lab pins. You can do a log format here because you can do the CSV, XML, or legacy CSV, or use this software with PuTTY. You can do your maintenance setting, and you will be able to do replace the probe, adjust the needle, default settings, configuration, replace lower CS, safe transport, and diagnostics. You can go into your QA settings from here, and you can go into your calibration period, your date format, your result unit, ID management, calibration standards, QA preset, user login, and sample management. You can also go back into your customization, and you can com customize your device ID. You can do a calibration pin, a measurement pin, you can adjust the sounds, and also your batch denotation for your lighting. If you press all the way back out here, this will get you back to your home screen and you'll be able to go into measure. And this will allow you to proceed on and measure your samples after you get the calibration done.